All right. Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. A peace and salutation to the elect. This is Ashan coming at you once again from the Baltimore branch of GMS. And today, um, I'm going into on a topic of uh, enemies. And, uh, you know, you know, we have Jake, uh, so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. They don't get the concept that we have enemies, you know, uh, you know, from Jake getting shot down in the street by his own people, you know, which are fellow Israelites, which they have no business doing that. But through the curses, they do. So um, the other nations, you know, so Jake. It's, it's like uh, the scripture I'm looking for where it says uh, you will um, night and day you will fear for your life. That's in Deuteronomy's. Just quoting it for right now. That's in Deuteronomy's the 28th chapter that we will fear for our lives. That's the curses now. But um, that's an that's, you know, another video on the curses. But we have enemies from since um since day one i'm gonna bring this scripture out since our existence the lord we got enemies um since we've been on earth we've been battling uh against the other nations you know and 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 what's and what's um great about the lord is if you sit down and think about it the lord uh well, let me just bring this uh, out, okay? Exodus, the 15th chapter, verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Yes. So, knowing that the Most High, the Almighty, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, is a man of war, why do all these people keep walking around talking about God is all love? When the scriptures clearly, because they don't know the Lord. Um, I... Even and 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 to t and we went over this because we had a guy that came past the camp this this uh you know past Saturday and uh, we bring that topic up and um we you know was uh, reciting um, information you know uh, to the guy you know it'll be a blessing Lord willing that he uh, come you know coming to the fold because he 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 came he came up right you know like how you know a little while back when i first learned the truth you know he was interested he was uh showing um at first he came up a little you know a little gone but he came around you know but we but a lot of people think they know the lord and don't even know have a clue you know and uh they think that the, the lord is all love well the lord I just read the scripture. The Lord is a man of war. And um, we was talking about how your own body and biology and your own your own body is war, have war. It's, it's a war inside your body because, you know, um, I had just had uh, got sick the other day. You know, I mean, I know brothers all we hey we in this hell. We all. Uh, if it ain't one thing, it's another. But that's. That's, you know, the cost. It's the cost that we got to uh, keep strong and, and keep pushing forward. But um, I'm, I'm always getting sick. But uh, I just thought about it, right? And your, and your body, your body is, is a, a, a war. You know, you got certain um, cells, or should I say bacteria, fighting other bacteria. Then you got, uh, it boils all the way down to, the because uh, this is a strong uh, statement. This is a strong scripture. The Lord is a man of war. When you're having sex, that's a form of war because you you penetrating the uh, the incubator. So when when you plant your seed, most of the time when you, because, when, you know, us men, we love women. But when we, when we want to tear something up, that's war. Because we ain't, we ain't, you know, we, we turn that up. So we, you know, I'm 
I don't, you know, I ain't being too graphic, but once you go inside a woman, you plant your seed. When, that process is like a war because this, uh, when you plant the seed and um, the sperm goes into the vagina and it's certain antibodies that uh, attacks the sperm. So that's a little war right there in microscopic form. And then it's, it's only one sperm out of millions of sperm. There's only one sperm that gets all the way to the egg. But that sperm had to swim through all this, this war zone through the vagina, you know. But the modern day, you know, black woman or whatever, so-called Israelite woman, it's, it's a, a, thousands of wars that they go through with that uh, box. But uh, to get off, not to get off topic, but yes, it's, it's a war. Everything you can think of, you're worn day to day, you know, it's a war, it's a battle, you know, so that's, uh, tells you, you know, one of the characteristics about the most high, Yahweh, the almighty, and as well as his son, Yahweh Shah, you know, but, um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring up an example of how, um, all the way back to the beginning in the garden, right? It was a it was somewhat of a war, and we have enemies because um, I'm here to tell you through the apostles, you know, through the spirit that um, we, uh, you know, if you could receive it, you know, we believe that Abraham, I mean, um, Salaki, um, Adam is Yahweh Shah, but his sons Cain and Abel. Cain in a reincarnation being uh, Esau because everything and everything if you put the puzzle, the pieces to the puzzle it will make sense you know and uh, Abel is Jacob I'm gonna I'm read I'm gonna read a little bit and then we're gonna um, show you how we have enemies because before before we were Israelites we were known as the, the sons of God you know so history repeats itself, but this is before we before we were a nation. We all we were we we always were the son of God. So we we was a nation. We just had different names, you know. As history went on, same people, same concept, everything came back, you know. History repeats itself, you know. Uh, okay, this is Genesis, Genesis four, and I'm gonna start at the second chapter. And it reads, and she again bare his brother Abel. Okay, I could start at verse 1. And it reads, and Adam knew his wife, meaning, they, you know, the, they had sex. You know, when you see a chick and you're like, yeah, I'm trying to get to know you. You're trying to knock that down, basically. All right, reading on, it says, and she conceived and bare Cain and, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. Yeah, she got the man of the Lord, but it was on the left hand side. <laughs> she didn't know that was the devil. But uh any old way, verse two, and she again bare his brother Abel, right? And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. See, so uh she had tw um sons, right? And looking at this, you could tell, you could see opposites, you know, already. You can see opposites. They were different. You know, you got night and day. Yeah, the, the most, and that's war right there. You got night, then you got day. Then you got negative, then you got positive. You got left, right, good and bad. Reading on, verse 3. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought out the fruit of the ground and offering unto the Lord. Verse 4, and Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offerings. You see, so they were sacrificing back then. So the laws, hey, this shows you that the laws were in effect back then. But they were before it was written. You know. Verse 5, you know the song, it was written. <laughs> okay. Read on it says, but unto Cain and to his offerings, he had no respect. See, so the most high ain't like Cain. 
And this goes back to, hmm, what this sound? Don't this sound familiar? Esau have I hated. Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. That sounds very familiar. You know why? Because it, it is familiar. They're the same people, same spirit. And uh, reading on, it says, but unto Cain and to his offerings, he had no respect. And Cain was very wroth and his countenance fell, meaning uh, he was very mad or, you know, jealous or wroth, meaning mad, basically. And his countenance fell, meaning he had that nasty look on his face like he was up to no good. You know, uh, he was pr basically demonized. Verse six, and the Lord said unto Cain, why art thou wroth? And why is thy continent falling? Verse seven, if thou do as well, shalt thou not be accepted? So the Lord was like, what's wrong with you? I mean, why are you looking that way? If you do what you was told or do the right thing, then you shouldn't have no problem with. You know, that's how the most high, get, you know, if you could, if you read a little bit, you can understand how the Lord, uh, you know, comes at us or work, work at us, you know, you always, you got to, uh, you know, you got, you know, your father, when he, when he getting on you, that's how the Lord is, you know, or for some of you brothers, you got a, a, a tough, one of the toughest uncles that's, that's just, that's, uh, the manly, just definitely, uh, manly and, you know, he don't play. That's, that's give you an example of how the Lord is. All right, reading on. It says, And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thou continence fallen? Okay. Verse 7. If thou do well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou do, doest not well, sinneth let lieth at the door. So he's saying, if, if, you don't, if you don't check yourself, then, A, you're going to end up sinning. You're going to end up doing something you regret. And reading on, and unto thee shall be his desire, and shall and thou shalt rule over him. Right, it's going to get the best of you if you keep on your evil ways. Verse 8, and Cain talked with his brother Abel. Salaki, and Cain talked with Abel, his brother. And it came to pass when they were in a field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. See, he was, he was jealous. He was, je you know. So he, he got so mad that he killed his brother. And um, Esau had been doing that to Jacob in the form of nations since the beginning of the time. Now, that's an enemy, you know. But the way the Most High did it is he made families, like the family, and spread the f families out, you know. So at one time, uh, Esau was Jacob, Jacob's brother. Esau was Jacob's brother before they were born. Esau was Jacob's brother when they were Cain. But what did he do when he was Cain? He killed them. And what did he do when he was Esau? He tried to kill him. But it wasn't meant for uh, Jacob to go out like, like that at that particular time. You know? And verse 9. And the Lord said unto Cain, where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I, I know not. He lied. Am I my brother's keeper? So he got smart with the most high. He said, am I? He got smart with the most high. So you see why there's no repentance for this damn devil? Because he came back as Esau and he got he, the same spirit. You know? Same spirit. Because Jacob and Esau went through the same thing. If you brothers get free time, you could read on, on about the story of Jacob and Esau. It's the same spirits, you know? coming back because he sold he did the same thing he cared no no he didn't really care for his birthright so he had the same attitude you know and i don't have to read further i just that was just a point i just wanted to bring out about how we have enemies you know and the most high he's a man of war and the most high is the ultimate chess player and um the string puller he the most high orchestrate these things but, and um, the outcome of it is the most highest for the right side, the right hand side. He 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 wants the right side to win. 
and the right side will win win because he he's the uh orchestrator so in actuality you want to be on the most highs uh winning side you will want to do the right thing not the left because the left is short term you ever heard of the thing good good guys finish last yeah in that case that's up. We the good guys. Good guys do friend his last. And that's why the nigga woman uh loves Esau so much because he the damn devil. You know, you know the you know you 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 see the women, they want the bad guys, and then after they you know, the bad guys then had got got what he wanted. Now after she didn't hit the wall, had about three, four kids, and she all ran through. Now she's looking for the good guy. You know, but the only thing is we ain't going to get no ran through women. Our women going to be fresh and, and, and with um, zero mileage on. It. You know, we ain't going to get no used up ghetto gaggers or swirlers or nothing like that. You know, we're going to get we're going to get them like the pop. We're going to get them young. Pit it like that. We're going to get them young. All right. We're going to give it that damn what you uh, you guys, you simps. And y'all feelings, you know, you better, you got to get out of that. You know, we living in a, a Western, Westernized society where it made the so-called uh, blacks, Hispanics, and Native American who are Israelites soft. All right, let me guess. Uh, all right. We're going to go to uh, Genesis, the 27th chapter, because I want to elaborate more on uh war you know and then um okay this is genesis the 27th chapter and i'm not going to go too long on i just wanted to bring up and um this is uh verse 41 and it reads genesis 27 41 and esau hated jacob because of the blessings wherewith his father blessed him and esau said in his heart don't this sound familiar, uh, Akia? The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then I will slay my brother Jacob. You see that? So that's Esau is uh, Cain in the reincarnation, and Jacob is uh, Abel coming, you know, come in the reincarnation. And Jacob represents the Israelites, and Esau represents Edomites. Which are the so-called white East, East, the Edomites are the so-called white people today, roaming around, and the Israelites are the so-called uh, blacks, Hispanics, and Native American people with color, people with pigment, different shades of brown. You know, we have enemies, and our main enemy is the Edomites. But, and that's the that's the more that's the main story. You know, but. The other nations are our enemies as well. The surrounding nations. They're going to get it too. They're our enemies too. And that's what Jake have to realize as well. Um, let me see. And that was basically, you know, my point I wanted to bring out to the Akim that look, we have enemies. I know, you know, the brothers uh, this season know that. But everything is good for a reminder, as well as the new uh, fruit that's coming in that might happen to come across this video. Um, I'm a, I'm a, well, yeah, I guess I can finish off with this uh, scripture right here. Um, Luke chapter 6, verse 35. It reads, but love your but but love ye your enemies and do good and lend hoping for nothing again and your reward shall be great and what's that talk it says but love your enemy what's that talking about well let's read on it says and ye shall be the children of the highest for he is kind unto unthankful and to the evil that's talking about your fellow israelites you know it's not talking about the other nations because it's laws statutes and commandments uh if you want to go deep if you brothers get a chance you read the law statutes and commandments and it's talking about your fellow israelite brother 
they read they read scriptures like this in slavery telling us to love our enemies but at the same time our enemies hating us shooting us in the back in the back of the head and in the back you know so the moral of the uh, story a hey, jake we uh israelite so-called blacks hispanics and native americans we have enemies that we have and jake think it's all about love that's why jake always getting caught getting stabbed in the back you know because jake want to love everybody in this world because we've been taught that way you know they took the fathers out the house you know the fathers in the, in the 50s and 40s and 50s were, were, were thorough you know but they did that to weaken the nation up, you know. A lot of us brothers were uh, fortunate to grow up with a father, you know. I had a father, grandfather. A lot of them passed early, you know. A lot of my grandfather, he passed uh, early, you know. And my father, he just passed uh, last year. But they did their job, you know. Some pe Some people are meant, you know. The Lord is the Lord handles everything, you know, the Lord take care of everything, you know, but that's just one of Esau's tactics, tactics, you know, taking the man out the house, replacing him with this, this, a woman, uh, uh, that's, uh, for her to grow up, to act masculine and unattractive, you know, that's the curses as well. But what type of friend would do that? Only an enemy would do that, you know, off of uh, that. That was sort of like a bribe what they did in the 60s to destroy the family structure in the communities, you know, as well as pick uh, crack cocaine and heroin and all that in a, a neighborhood to destroy us and kill us. But it only backfired on them as well because they don't um, understand about the most high because they're the enemies, you know. But I hope this was at a fine, you know. Till again, brothers, stay strong, stay prayed up, uh, stay humble, be meek. Shalom.